Hey everybody, welcome back to Fly Tying Tuesdays. My name is Steve, and today we're tying up a case caddis. This is super simple, it's really only two ingredients. Uh, the main one here is from F&F. This is a brand that we've recently added and we really love all their products, some cool stuff available from them. This is the chewing gum worm. Uh, as such, we're calling this the Big League Caddis. So let's start it. An interesting uh, part of this fly, as you'll see, I've done a little bit of uh, prefab work. Um, these are both fulling mill products. This is the fulling mill Jig Force Long, great for case caddises, um, stone flies on the jig, and jig streamers as well. And then uh, the tungsten body you see there is a tungsten jig back. Um, so the combination here, we have a size 16 and then a 3.5 millimeter. Uh, cool colors and sizes available in the jig backs, great for adding weight to a pattern in unique and creative ways, as you see here. All I've done is lay down some super glue. Um, this is Loctite, and then fix this onto the hook and let it rest for a little while. If you're tying a bunch of these, I'd definitely recommend doing that all ahead of time and just getting them all prepped. The thread is UTC Ultra Thread in light olive, 70 denier. And now let's get in with that chewing gum worm. This is the caddis brown color, aptly named for what we're doing. Tie that in nice and secure. I'm gonna come back in with more super glue. And then just run the length of the shank and especially kind of get it up onto the slick areas of the tungsten jig back. Um, it is ribbed for your tying pleasure, but you see that there's some slippery parts of it there on the lower end. So if you let it slide down and build up a ramp, and then once you get into those grooves, you can kind of hang out there. So I'm gonna do a half hitch in, not the forward most groove, but kind of the second one back there, cause I wanna leave that space for the dubbing that I'm gonna do later. And then while that super glue is wet, pull the chenille taut and start to build up my case caddis body. And then the taper of the jig back is gonna start to build that up pretty nice. And then you want to give yourself some room to do the dubbing and finish off the fly without crowding anything. So crawl your thread back up. Capture that off. And then we'll trim it out snug. And kind of clean things up, make a nice landing zone for where your dubbing's gonna go. Could probably just leave a light olive thread like that and call it good, but we're gonna spice things up a little bit uh, with another new brand that we like, that's Hens. This is the UV ice dubbing. It's pretty fine, um, so it dubs up real nice into a noodle on the thread. Has some nice UV properties as well. If you wanna use this stuff for hot spots, or on some check nymphs and things like that. Great option for you with a lot of different colors to choose from. Now we're just gonna make that little peep of green sticking out. And all that is left is the whip finish. And then as you can see, I've left the front end of the jig back to pop out as kind of my bead or the head sticking out of this caddis. Um, you can definitely tie them further in and use them to tie something like a waltz worm uh, if you have the right hook combination and size for that. Um, but a great option to add weight to your pattern, keeping a natural profile, not terribly oversizing the bead is to use these in the kind of style that we have here today. There you have it, the big league caddis. Uh, throw some at your local fish for them to chew on. Give it a shot, guys. Thanks.